Hello guys, hello, welcome to episode 150 of Minecrafting with MRG. 150, that's a lot of episodes. Uh, it spans across all of our worlds though. I think we've had three worlds, 40 some odd episodes in the, it was like 44, 45 episodes in the first world. Uh, and then what does that make it like? That's about 92, 93 in the second world. The second world was uh, on my laptop, actually. Like, Well, so was the first world, I suppose. But the second world, the majority of it was on my laptop. I think I moved it over onto this computer when time came. And then we have, of course, the last 10 episodes have been on this in this world, and this computer, uh, 10 or 11. I started at 140, and now we're on 150 on this computer. 10 episodes in, we've really made some great progress. We'll look at some of that today. Uh, today, I plan to show you guys what I've done since last episode, because I've done a lot of work. And then I have two things in mind I kind of want to do. Uh, I kind of want to go exploring, and you'll see why. And I want to build the nether wart farm, because we're ready for that. So, without further ado let's jump right in here we go f1 knew i missed one. Oh, whoops sorry got a little pop-up got rid of that okay so firstly uh i put down stone brick here you can't really tell that much i extended this like three blocks put down stone brick might move or extend the cow farm i'm not sure uh plus over here we have this little thing here now, uh, if I ever need the space, I will expand out this way and into that mountain. Wow, these cows are annoyingly loud. And I believe that's all for the inside. If you go down here, I added, added a second, second horse. Got a second horse. You see, this guy's pen, I think, looks better. Because this guy has stone, stone. And he has, like, stone brick open wall. So I think I'll do stone brick, stone brick. But, if you take a step back, and back up to like here, this whole area looks much nicer now. I don't know if you remember what it looked like before, but before it was like this, and then it cut, and then there was kind of just like dirt over here. But now it's like, even on both sides, all the way up, it's a little different, but that's okay. And then, still need to build the connection right there. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's an Enderman, okay. He's just really far away. Okay, moving right along. We're going to put another wart farm here, either today or possibly next episode. And here, I've made some great progress here. Here you see we've got our awkward potion machine. This thing works perfect. Uh, it does work. Yes, it does. And then over here we have redstone. And I put the glowstone lamps underneath. So redstone... Uh, gunpowder, glowstone, and then sugar for speed potions, magma cream for fire resist. Uh, this will be healing, instant damage, I think. And then this one will be shared across two, which will be regen and probably poison. Regen and poison, they are opposites, but there'll be two here. Uh, because those I don't make as much, and the especially with regen, the ingredients to get them are is a bit harder so I've been doing a little bit of brewing not much just have a couple potions around uh, it's hard to do brewing because I need a obviously I need the rest of the ingredients I don't even have melons in this world and I need glistening melons and B I also need uh, a lot more nether wart and blaze powder so I have I only have 22 nether wart right now but I have like 36 blaze rods because I went to the nether and just sat there for a while killing blaze now i will warn you if you look my version is 15 w 51 b that's my snapshot uh if you're playing in this snapshot i do not recommend you go hunt blaze because occasionally you'll kill a i killed one blaze and my computer just blue screened like what why it uh i think it has to do with the update i've heard uh some people say that it's so loud there i can't stand there i've heard some people say that uh Killing a blaze or having a blaze shoot at them will, will cause their computer to crash and their whole game to, like, hard crash. And I don't doubt it because I got in a couple fights with blazes and my computer just hard crashed down to blue screen. Whoa. Okay. So, 
Uh, today we are going to start with a little adventure, see if we can't get into some trouble. I'll prepare and then we can head out on this adventure. Alright guys, I've headed out on the adventure. This is what I brought. Uh, I just brought a different pick, a fortune, because I think we might be caving a little. Uh, by the way, I got this sick new sword. Look at that. Sharpness 4, Fire Aspect 2, Unbreaking 3. No knockback, because I don't like knockback. Very nice sword. Uh, and then I have, my pants are about to break, so I brought some new pants. But, this is my first time using the new boats. So I figured I would show you guys. Oh wow, they're kind of quick. I think that they're quicker. Okay, wait. Uh, let's get a look at ourselves here. So you want to do that one and that one. You can just hold them down at the same time. It, it works pretty well. It's kind of weird how they're not like adjusted. Like it doesn't adjust to where you're looking. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> I'm mostly looking for melons. That's the number one thing I'm exploring for. But really anything interesting. Is, is what I'm looking for here. Uh, and I will keep you guys posted if anything interesting comes about. What is that, though? Is that just a hole in the world? How do I get out of a boat again? Oh, it's left shift to get out of a boat. Well, first of all, I'm hitting F4. Left shift, yep. Yeah, and you don't push them around. That's nice. That was the biggest thing. I hated getting out of boats and, like, just be pushing them around. Okay, that's nothing. That was just some water. Okay, I'm gonna check this out, uh... I'll let you guys know if I see anything cool. Oh my goodness, I just saw like six creepers. One of them blew up. But I saw, I think it was literally six creepers right here. Oh, now there's a zombie. Oh, another one blew up. It's hard getting used to this new combat system, especially while caving. You know, you just want to like panic. And swing a lot. You're used to just running up and batting. Ah, now I'm on fire. But, uh, haven't found anything too interesting. Wow, creepers everywhere. Haven't found anything too interesting in this cave. I'm really just looking for either a spawner or... Wow, get back. Wow, die. No! No! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get back! Everybody get back! Get back. Oh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Ah. Run. I have, like, diamond armor. Why can't I just cave? Okay. Woo. Woo. Did you guys see that save? That was crazy. So, uh, a mine shaft or... Please just die. I'm only on normal, I think, too. Let me see. Yeah, I'm on normal. Why did I lock the difficulty in at normal? Why wouldn't I lock it in on hard? Maybe that, this is why. Maybe I knew this was coming. This insanity. See, I think that sound's a good sound, but that sound comes sometimes when I spam click, too. Sorry, when I spa spam click, too. So, uh, I'm just gonna keep mining here. I'll let you know when I find melon seeds or a dungeon, which will happen, because this mine is pretty massive. Or when I die. Alright guys, let's see. <clears throat> First of all, got back to the cave, got all my stuff. Don't worry about that. Uh, it's pretty easy to find where I was. Uh, second of all, found some diamonds here. So, let's see if our luck will turn around. This is supposed to be a fortune three. I got four diamonds out of three blocks. That's a shame. Shouldn't have dug straight down there. Oh, but uh, I have got... Just about a stack, I mean just about two stacks of iron, uh, almost a stack of gold, now four diamonds add that, and a ton of lapis. Uh, still looking, I'm really still hoping for the same two things I came here for, melon seeds and or a dungeon. And when I say a dungeon, I mean like a skeleton or a zombie dungeon. Preferably skeleton, because then I have unlimited arrows and bones. But even with the zombie dungeon, then I have an XP farm. Uh, I would still travel out here for it. Like, I don't care. It's not that far to travel for it. Um, because we really just need a way to get experience in this world. It's kind of holding us back. Otherwise, we'd have a ton of enchanted tools, armor. Could have already beat the Ender Dragon, I'm sure, by now. Had I just had that stuff. And it is actually harder to combat now. It's really, it's it's harder. 
Like, look at these guys. They are sneaky. Okay, so I'm going to spend a little bit longer in this cave, but I've already been down here for, like, half an hour. Uh, if nothing happens, nothing happens. I'll let you know. Whoa, look at that guy. Whoa, what the heck? What are these guys? This is a new texture. It tells you what villager they are before you save them. Interesting. They came from up there. I don't know. I'll check it out. I'll let you guys know. Alright guys, so I left that cave because there wasn't really much there besides much of the same. And uh, I think we're coming up on an area some of you might remember, if I'm not mistaken, yet. Yeah. Oh my skeletons. Why are there like 60 skeletons here? You see this? Two more over there, two more there, three more up here. But this is where we put, this is where we got our horse and did all of our horse training. See, I can't even get to them to hit them. I'm already down three hearts. But the good thing is you eat and you just fill back up. So, I took the horse that we had in that stable, I suppose, back. And that's the one that I have at base now. See, it's like impossible to kill these guys because they back up. Ooh, that was a close one. I really don't like the new skeletons. They're very difficult to kill. And I've been eating constantly. Okay. Oh. Oh. I think I just got to get my timing right on the bow and kind of corner him. Oh, no. I did not want to come down here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to keep exploring for a little, see if I find anything. Uh, I don't know. I'm only going to go down a cave if it looks promising. I'm not going to just go caving down random caves anymore because that might kind of be a waste of our time given what just happened. Oh my goodness, I'm always just running away from mobs now. You'd think that with almost full diamond armor and a sharpness 4 sword, I'd be able to beat some of these mobs. And I don't think I'm that... Okay, that was a bad example of me saying how bad I was. But I'm not that bad at this game. I've been playing it for so long, you'd think that I'd know how to play. These guys are what get you. Because they never miss anymore. They almost always hit. Oh, I'm about to die. This is just from being outside, mind you. I'm not I'm not in a cave. I'm not f taking on a dungeon. I'm wearing diamond armor and I'm dying to these mobs just just outside. This combat update is pretty crazy. Uh anyway, I'm in this weird stone biome which I'm not very familiar with. Okay, come on. I can't even get to them, see? I think you need to carry a bow now. I think that's the lesson that we need to learn from this. You gotta carry a bow now. But I'm in this weird stone biome which has a ton of cows. Die, please. Okay. And I'm getting attacked still. I'm gonna die. It, I'm always down to like four hearts. Ah, oh, my diamond helmet broke. That was a great helmet. It had, like, uh, respiration and everything. All that. All that jazz. It had it. Wow. Okay, yeah, but you see, we're in this, like, weird stone biome. What's this called? This is... This is just called Extreme Hills, I guess. I don't know. But it is amplified terrain, so that that leads to it, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to find here. I'm really just looking for a spawner. Or some melons. This is actually a really cool area. It would be cool to live here. Who knows? Maybe one day set up a second base all the way out here. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see. But uh, I think I'm actually going to head back now. Somewhat empty-handed because we came here for two specific things and I couldn't find either. But I might have to just explore off camera. It seems that... I don't know. I can't tell if it's just... I want to say rustiness, maybe my lack of experience because I haven't been playing as much as often. But it seems, as I say that of course, that this game is actually harder. And if it is, that's great. I think that it should be. I think that this game was a little easy. Minecraft was more about like, what can you do in this environment? Rather than, how do you survive? And then figure out what you could do. You know, it was really just, what can you build? Even in survival, because it was so easy to survive. But now that you can't just go up and spam click mobs and kill them in corners and skeletons back up, creepers seem to have a shorter fuse and a longer range. I don't know if any of that's actually proven. I know that some of it is. Like, skeletons definitely back up. Uh, it seems that baby zombies 
uh, either are quicker or more accurate. They just jump right on you and they keep bashing you. They don't have that dumb thing where they'd run right up to you and then wait a little while just kind of look at you before they started swinging. Very, very interesting what this, the turn this game has, has taken. Uh, but for whatever reason, maybe because it's amplified, this is my first amplified world, I can't find melon seeds and I can't find a good spawner. And we are thousands of blocks away. I'm probably 1,500 blocks from spawn right now. And I've been walking back about 500 already. So we traveled about 2,000 blocks out in that direction, unable to find melons or a spawner. And I didn't put on large biomes. I know that for a fact. I always avoid large biomes because I've seen how large the biomes are. It takes like 3,000 blocks to get through a snow biome. So I didn't put on large biomes, but I just put on amplified terrain. Got a lot of ocean, and we just kind of island hop. So I'm going to head back home, and we'll see how much more time we have today. All right, guys, on my boat ride home here as I attempt to use this boat, it's more difficult than it seems because it's hard to just turn. It's hard to pick a direction. Anyway, um, picked up a squid. Squids have sounds now. Let's see. Shh. Oh, you hear that? It's like a little alien sound. It's kind of weird, actually. Uh, yeah, so I guess two entities fit in a boat now. And uh, the squid just hopped in the back. I don't know when they're going to release 1.9. Who knows? But, uh, all right, I'm going to head back now, and then we'll see what we could do. All right, guys, so here we are. I just landed back here, and these are the staircase. This, These are the staircase. These are the stairs that I built last time, which go right to our potion room. As you see, uh, let's kill him. Come at me. Come at me. Come get me. Come get me. I know you want to kill me. Oh, dead. Nice. Didn't even touch me. So, uh, for the nether wart farm, we're going to use all three of these. All three of these sections. Uh, but first, before we get started on that, let's check out our hall. I wish there was somewhere we could go. It wouldn't be so loud. But it looks like we got two stacks and five iron. We got this much gold over here. Oh, Lapis doesn't go in this chest. That much redstone. Four diamonds. And let's make some Lapis blocks, actually. Come to think of it. Let's make some Lapis blocks. Because I have so much Lapis. Uh, it actually has a use now, which is nice, you know, enchanting. I know that's kind of uh, a more recent thing but uh so what just let you guys know what i'm gonna do between right now and next episode is i'm just going to continue with what we've been doing i'm gonna continue to look for uh melons i'm gonna continue to look for a uh, dungeon and i'm gonna get started on the nether wart farm i probably won't finish it i'll probably leave some of it for the next episode but I'm sorry we didn't get done our get done. I'm sorry we didn't finish our tasks that we wanted to today. Uh, but that was not my fault at all. I tried. Who would have thought it would have been that hard? If you guys have any ideas for how I can better find, uh, oh furnaces have sounds now too. If you guys have any ideas for how I can better find melons or a spawner or anything, I have no idea how to better find those and. I got some mixed reviews on this spruce wood. I might have to change it up. But regardless, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching all the first 150 episodes of my end of the video snack. Uh, thanks for watching the first 150 episodes of Minecrafting with Aaron Margie. This is always so fun to do. Thank you for your continued support. And I'm going to keep making these whether you watch them or not. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.